guys, it's Lucha here again, and today I'm going to do the. Today I'm going to be going to be doing some more Windexy cards. I'm going to be opening up ten, and you can split these into two videos if you want. You can pause between this and that. Um, but I'm just gonna do one whole video. Hopefully, I don't get any duplicates because I don't think if I get any duplicates, I'll. I guess I think I'll get the whole collection, but it's probably a lot. That's probably rare. So I may do another video on this, maybe. So hopefully I will complete my collection and hopefully I'll get the album, who knows. And in this video, I may, I will maybe be looking off to the side because I put the cards out so I know if we have a duplicate or not. So I will be right back with scissors. I keep on forgetting scissors, so yeah. Okay, I'm back, the day's back. And I forgot to mention, again, these have four free cards, you can, uh, and um, you can win Fantastic Family Prizes. And this is up to, you can collect all 54. And it actually, last video I accidentally said um, May 5th, but it's actually May 4th, 5, 4, 16, or while well, supplies last. So let's get the show on the road. Open this. Let's see if I don't need scissors, who knows. Last time I did, yeah, I need scissors. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just horrible at opening stuff. Okay. Oh, and by the way guys, hopefully I will be doing a cooking episode soon and hopefully I will be doing a gaming episode soon. Oh, this is a disappointment. We got three duplicates. So, our duplicates are Am I right? Yeah. So our duplicates are Eastern Screech Owl, American Tarantula, and Glossy Ibis. Now, I won't read these off because when I opened these last time, I read them off. And so if you didn't see those, you should head back. You should pause this video, head back to my other videos, watch all of them if you want. And then come back to this video so to know more and get all the facts. Okay, so the one that we didn't have a duplicate was the Cricket Frog, Swamp number three. Now here's the did you know. Did you know Cricket Frogs lay 200 or more eggs at a time and lay them individually instead of, instead of in clumps like most frogs do? I did not know. Okay, now usually here's the comment question. So the comment question is, you can answer the question and you can add information on to tell me if you want to, if you know anything. Here is the comment question. Why do you think they're called cricket frogs? Well, why do you think? I think maybe they eat crickets. Let's see. The mating call of the male cricket frog sounds like the chirping of crickets. You may hear them around ponds, lakes, and swamps in spring and summer. These are really cool cards because they tell you a lot. You can put them in the binder because the binder is also at Winn-Dixie for $4 at mine because they have swamp, they have a category, and they have a number. So, on to our next package. Did I even cut that? Let's see if we have any duplicates. Oh, this is all duplicates. And you know what? We got a limited edition one that we already got. Okay. Roadrunner. I already got. That's for sure. Where did I put the Roadrunner? Where did I put it? Okay. Gray Fox. I already got. Manatee. I already got. And here is the, um, the limited edition one. The Southeastern States card. I have two of them now. At least we have two. More the merrier, I guess. <laughs> more different ones than one there. That's what I should do. Okay. So I know that I'm not completing my set today. Hopefully two more or one more. I see I already see a duplicate and we already got it today already. But okay, we have one duplicate in this, which is pretty rare. Bleh. Rare. For me. Do I have this one? No, I have the killer rat. Okay. So we already got this one today. 
Alrighty, we got the American Trench. Okay, so here we go. We have the Wolverine in the mountains number four. Did you know Wolverines live alone and have large territories? Yeah, sorry. And have large territories, which they mark with their scent. They prey, they, sorry. They prey on many small animals, but will also eat fish and berries. Now here's a comment question where you can comment. What kind of animal is a wolverine? Well, from the picture, it probably, maybe some kind of bear, I don't know. Although this powerful mammal looks a bit like a small bear, yes, it is in fact part of the weasel family like skunks, mink, and ferrets. I did not know that. On the other hand, now that I think of it, it kind of does look like that. Okay, now, hold on a second. Southeastern states, number five, white-tailed deer, Georgia. Did you know the white-tailed deer is one of the most common hoofed mammals in North America? You may even see one in or near your garden. That's awesome. Okay, common question. Do all deer have antlers? Let's find out if they do. Okay, usually only male deer have antlers. They grow them around six months old and shed them each winter. Hmm. All deer have antlers. Okay, here we go. Now, this is coastal number three, right whale. Do you know right whales travel to the coastal waters of Florida and Georgia to give birth and are the only whales to travel here for this? No, I did not know that. Here's a common question. What do right whales eat? Probably. Okay. They feed on zooplankton and other tiny marine creatures. They use their baleen, 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 baleen teeth to filter them through the water as they swim. Okay, on to our next package. Okay, so three down, seven more to go. Oh my gosh, I can't get this out, sorry. Okay, that's not one that's not. Oh, limited editions these days are not really limited edition, are they? Okay, I got Bottlenose Dolphin as a, another um, duplicate, and I'm really sad. Okay. Now, there's two from today. Well, there's, yeah, we got two of the same ones today, which are limited edition, and this one. That's just... I would like to get the other states, really. I would. Okay, so we have the horseshoe crab, which I'm a fan of. I love horseshoe crabs. Okay, so with coastal number two. Did you know horseshoe crabs are most are more closely related to spiders than crabs? No. Okay. Here is the comment question where you can comment. Are horseshoe crabs dangerous? I don't think they are. No, they are harmless. They are usually only seen in shallow waters during the breeding season up and down the coast from May to June. Oh, and here's a right wheel. I don't think I should have do that again. I don't know. Okay. Go. Where'd my other one go? Oh, here it is. Now we have mountains number three, big horn sheep. Did you know their horns can weigh more than all the bones in their body combined? Males have bigger horns than females, and they are a symbol of status within the herd. Here's a common question. What makes bighorn sheep good at living in the mountains? Let's find out. They are extremely good at climbing and jumping, and their hooves are specially designed for gripping the rocks. Okay. Okay. Four down, six more to go. Trying to make sure I don't cut the cards off because I wouldn't like that. No. <laughs> okay. Where's the other one? Oh, it's still in here. 
attachment flaw on them. Okay, so in this, we have three duplicates, but that's okay. At least we didn't get four. We have the mountain lion. Where is it? We have a spotted salamander. And we have the gray fox again. Oh my gosh, we have four gray foxes. <laughs> wow, and three mountain lions. No, two, okay. Okay, our only new one is coastal number four, sea otter. Did you know sea otters spend the majority of their time at sea? They look for food in shallow waters and use their belly as a table to crack mollusks open with rocks. Okay, here's a comment question where you can comment down below. Where do you find sea otters? Probably in the sea. Sea otters are found in the Pacific Ocean off the western shores of North America. Okay, why do I keep putting that there? Sorry, there's trash everywhere. Okay. So, we're almost done halfway, halfway there, right? Yes, halfway there. And all duplicates. Yay. We have the red fox, which I also have with the um with the gray fox also. Where is it? I can't find it. I do have it. I I promise I do have it. There it is. Okay. Roadrunner. We already got today. Bog lemming. And go for tortoise. Okay. Okay. Forty. Everything's going everywhere. I put the fan on. And I already see the ticket. Okay. Or do I? Yay! We got no duplicates! Okay. So, whoa. These are pretty, pretty interesting. So, we have mountains number one, Pika. Did you know, Pika spend the whole of their short summer collecting a variety of plants and flowers. They must collect enough to last throughout the winter when food is, when food is scarce. Sorry. So, it's tiny text. I can't read it. Here's the comment question. Is the Pika a rodent? No. Even though the pika looks like a rodent with a rat-like head, it is usually part of the rabbit and hare family. This is what the pika looks like. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Mountains number six, golden eagle. Did you know golden eagles are fantastic flyers and hunters? Fast enough and big enough to catch a variety of small mammals on the ground like squirrels, prairie dogs, and rabbits. Comment question, we can comment down below. Where do golden eagles live? Hmm, let me think about that. Okay. They build large nests made of sticks, usually on rock, rocky ledges in mountains and forests all over North America. Good to know. And if you have like a geography, well, if you have like an animal test at school, you could use these to study. It's pretty cool. I would use them to study. Okay, swamp number seven, cottonmouth snake. Did you know these water snakes have a special heat receptor in between their eyes, which helps them to detect their prey? Here's a comment question. We can comment down below. Are cottonmouths venom? I think they are. Yes, they have venom that is injected through the teeth when they bite and can be harmful to humans. There's glare. I'm sorry. Okay. Last one for this pack. That was not duplicate. Coastal number eight. Northern gannet. Did you know gannets are large birds that are too heavy to take off from the ground? They either take off from cliffs or use the wind from the sea's surface to help. Comment question where you can comment down below. What do northern gannets eat? 
And they eat fish and are superb divers, spotting fish from 80 feet in the air and plummeting into the water to catch them. And that, that is a, that is a cool fact. Okay, on to our third to last package. Six to go. Wait, no, seven to go, sorry. <laughs> okay. We don't cut the card. Don't cut the card. I'm sorry, I got these. Okay. Hopefully we don't have any duplicates. My goodness! Once again, limited editions aren't really limited in this pack. We have Roadrunner again. We have Gray Fox and then it fell again. We have Manatee again, and we have Southeastern States again. We have about four limited edition Southeastern States. I would like some other states, please. I'm sorry, but I would. I'm getting way too much of those. Okay. Am I ever going to complete my collection? I don't know about that. Okay. At least we don't have all the duplicates because in this one, I see one new one at least. Oh, we are on our ninth, we're on our ninth one. Okay, we only got one new one. So the duplicate is California Condor. Now I opened that up off camera um, the first time I got it because I wanted to check out what these were. Um, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Green and Null and Blue Jay are both in your backyard. Also opened those up um, on off camera. Where did I put you guys? Where did I put And the new one that we have is the Desert Jackrabbit, number seven. <clears throat> Sorry. Did you know jackrabbits are extremely fast runners and also use their powerful hind legs to jump across distances of 20 feet, perfect for escaping predators such as coyotes? Okay, that's nice to know. Comment question where you can comment down below if you know the answer, if you would like to answer, and if you know anything else that you could tell me if you wanted to. What do you think those big ears are used for? You could pick it up. Okay. With excellent hearing, they act like antenna to pick up signs of danger. They also allow heat to escape from their bodies to cool them down in the desert sun. Okay, our last pack. This would be really sad if we got all duplicates. We had a lot of those right there. Okay. Don't cut the cards. Don't cut the cards. Okay. I think I see a duplicate. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got one new one. At least we got a new one. So our duplicates are American Croc... Croc sorry, can't speak today. American Crocodile, Peregrine Falcon, and Brown Pelican. I have to sort these out. Okay. Okay, so our new one, our last and final new one is California Sea Lion. Coastal number five. Did you know California sea lions spend most of their day laying in the sun and hunt for fish at night? Here's a comment question that you can comment down below. Can you name the differences between seas, seals and sea lions? Let's see if we can. Sea lions have longer flippers that they can use to walk on land with, whereas seals travel, travel on their belly. Sea lions also have external ears. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera for a second, and I'm going to count the ones we have, and I'll try to um, see how much we need, and probably in the next video of this, if we have any next videos, I will maybe get the full set, and then I'll put it into the binder, and I'll show you guys. So, hopefully we can. So, I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. So we have 41 cards. Now, I'm very excited because we only need 14 more cards. So hopefully we can get that next time. And so, yes. Remember to like, comment, and then finally subscribe to for more videos because you will get notifications. And so, the day out. Bye.